Hello everyone, back to you in today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather next week's 10 days. In today's video, we'll also have a look at the CFS V2 uh, for next month. That takes us in, well into uh, the second half of October, of course. So, the shorter term is all dominated by what's happening in the Atlantic, and particularly as we get through to the weekend and the start of next week. We talked about this in the video yesterday. Uh, we're going to be bringing up the remains of two hurricanes, Maria and Lee, into the North Atlantic. Um, and they're heading in our direction, but the exact uh, way models are handling these uh, storms is very uh, much chopping and changing from uh, run to run. So very poor confidence, really, in the forecast for the weekend and through into next week, other than to say, just got to watch out, really, uh, where these areas of low pressure are going, because potentially they could give us a spell of really wet and windy weather. But you'll see in a moment that there is a lot of chopping and changing in terms of how the models are handling these storms. So, begin by looking at the latest positions of Hurricanes Maria and Lee. So, uh, this is uh, Lee just here. Now, Hurricane Lee has gone up to Category 2 Hurricane. Uh, I think we'll be back down to Category 1 fairly shortly, but uh, it has uh, actually strengthened over the past 24 hours since we did yesterday's video. Maria is still a Category 1 off the eastern coast of America. So this is how uh, Hurricane Lee is being forecast to move. That's its current position uh, just there by Friday. It's had to push northwards. And then it's going through into Saturday and Sunday. There it comes into the northern Atlantic. Down to uh, a storm by then. Uh, still tropical status by Sunday just here. After that, it'll probably just go down to an area of low pressure. But you can't see British Isles. We're just off the uh, map just there. Um, Ireland and the UK. So uh, it's heading in our direction. And that's the message, really. We've got to watch out for exactly how this area of low pressure, as it will be, by the weekend and start of next week, um, how an area of low pressure uh, moves and where it goes. Now, at the same time as Lee is going in that direction, we've also got Maria going in that direction as well. So this is the current position of Category 1 Hurricane Maria uh, right now. By the time we get through to um, the uh, weekend, we find that Hurricane Maria is uh, just here as a storm. By then, by Sunday, uh, Storm Maria is just there. You'll notice that uh, the finishing position with both of these, Lee and Maria, is very, very similar. So that is the position of uh, Storm, as it will be by then, Maria. This is the position of Storm, as it will be by then, uh, Lee. Very much in the same position. What's going to happen is that these two areas of low pressure will develop into one large depression, I think. And uh, that will then be the case of waiting to see where that area of low pressure goes. But both of these storms are going to be on the move and moving in our direction. So obviously we are going to have to uh, keep an eye on exactly what is going on and uh, where those storms are heading. Right, coming back to the UK's weather then, and this is the uh, latest Central England temperature. We've had an update from Hadley, provisional to yesterday, 25th of September. We stand at 13.6 degrees, which is an anomaly of uh, minus 0 0.2 below average. So we are still a little bit below average, not a great deviation. And actually, by the end of the month, by the time you finish up, the numbers, we may finish up a little bit warmer than average because we are having quite a run of the particularly mild nights uh, just at the moment. On the other hand, there's usually a downwards correction with these temperatures by about 0.2 or 0.3 of a degree. So whether we do finish up a little bit above or a little bit below average, I don't think either way there's going to be a big deviation uh, this month. We may actually finish up bang on average. That's a 61 to 990. If we compare it against a more modern average, 81 to 2010, Actually, we might well finish up still a little bit cooler than average set against uh, the modern average of 81 to 2010. Right, GFS Ensembles uh, next, and the ensemble we're using today is Darwin in uh, Northern England, very close to uh, Blackburn. Somebody has asked me, have a look at the ensemble uh, for Darwin. So this is the uh, GFS upper air temperature and precipitation 
ensemble for the next two weeks. The red line here is a 30-year upper air temperature average. Going to be a little bit above average again for the next few days. This takes us more or less to the end of the month. That's the 1st of October uh, just there. Then we go to a bit cooler than average. It looks like we just stay uh, close to average really from the weekend and through into next week. So not a huge amount going on with the temperatures. Precipitation-wise, it does look more significant. Certainly for northern England, it appears we're in quite a wet spell. So some rain uh, around over the next couple of days. Actually, it's a bit drier tomorrow, but then more rain coming up as we get through into the second half of the week and the weekend. Some quite big precipitation spikes coming through there. Not as wet as we're going into the second half of the ensemble, so into the unreliable time frame. But even then, fairly, fairly regular rainfall spikes. So it does look like a reasonably cha changeable period coming up for northern parts of England. Anyway, these are the surface temperatures and air pressure uh, ensembles from the GFS model for uh, Darwin. And we can see that uh, starting off around 15 degrees Celsius with our maximum temperatures. But mild nights, that's 10 degrees Celsius just there and we're not seeing the temperatures falling below uh, 10 degrees celsius for the next three nights as we get through to the end of the week and the weekend clearly see some cooler nights are coming through there as we're edging down under 10 degrees celsius going back into single digits and in some cases going down as close as uh, as cool as five degrees so um warm nights coming up for next three nights and then it looks like we get some cooler nights coming up at the end of the week into weekend through the start of next week as well and at the same time the uh, maximum temperatures are declining a little bit as well generally going under 15 degrees celsius as we go through to the start of october so i think we are still seeing signs of a bit of a cooling trend at the weekend and through into next week. In terms of air pressure at Darwin, so uh, we're starting off with generally uh, fairly high-ish pressure, 1,020 millibars. Pressure is going to decline over the coming few days. We drop it down possibly to under 1,010 millibars and then maybe raising the pressure again as we go through the end of the first week and into the second week of October. Temperature anomalies for next week are looking like this from the 26th of September to the 4th of October. Generally a little bit milder than average, so still a bit on the warm and average side. And of course that's mainly down to the warm nights we're going to have coming up in the next two or three nights. In terms of precipitation anomalies, a little bit drier than average still for England and Wales. A bit wetter than average, Scotland and Northern Ireland. I'm expecting those to trend cooler and wetter through the week. This is how the GFS is looking for Saturday. And uh, so there's Mar uh, Maria just there. That's uh, the remains of Hurricane Maria. That's the remains of Hurricane uh, Lee. Very much um, sort of getting together. And as we go through to Sunday and see what's happened is that they have actually formed into one area of low pressure uh, just there. That area of low pressure then sweeps in across uh, the north and west of the country Sunday into Monday, bringing potentially a battering to Scotland. We've got some very tight packed ice bars there, indicating gales, possibly severe gale force winds for Scotland. Not all that windy though further south actually. There is probably quite a band, uh, band of quite heavy rain heading uh, southwards and eastwards. Uh, but the main winds from uh, this area of low pressure is for Scotland. That's very different to what we were seeing yesterday for GFS, and it is, it is indicative of the charts chopping and changing. Once that gets out of the way, we build a little bit of a ridge up from the southwest through the middle part of next week. It turns quieter, but then more low pressure starting to push in off the Atlantic in the second half of next week brings unsettled weather conditions back. We get to day 10, Friday 6th of October, we're into a cool and showery uh, westerly wind. ECMUF looks like this, so uh, that's the situation on Saturday. Unsettled even then with showers, particularly so uh, for the northern part of the country. That is uh, Lee just there. Marie, can't quite make it out, is heading into the far uh, left-hand chart as you're looking at it. By the time you get through to uh, Sunday, so um, Lee is just there as a weakening feature. That is Maria as well. Uh, we have got more areas of low pressure ahead of those two storms bringing uh, wetter wind conditions. As we go through to Monday, so I think this is uh, Hurricane uh, Maria on uh, Monday as a area of low pressure, of course. Um, so ECMUF is handling all this slightly differently compared to the uh, GFS. And actually, 
the remains of Hurricane Maria, I think, goes down into Bay of Biscay through the early part of next week with the east of the So, rather different. Doesn't make all that much difference for us, though, because we're still under low pressure, so it's still cool and showery with this area's low pressure to the northeast of Scotland uh, through the early part of uh, next week. The second half of next week sees more of an influence from the ridge from the southwest. So, we finish up on day 10, which is Friday, 6th of October, building a ridge through the country. That all looks very, very different by day 10 to what we were seeing yesterday. And it's all down to the way the models are chopping and changing with the handling of uh, storms Lee and Maria. So I think it's all up the grabs, really, from the weekend and for next week, pretty much anything could happen. It could be that we uh, don't get too much impact from those storms and then we build in a ridge and have a fairly reasonable week. Alternatively, we might get properly impacted by those areas of low pressure and we might have a very unsettled week next week. I think we've got to wait a few more days for the models to really pin down the exact movement of those storms and areas of low pressure. Finally, just have a look at CFSV2 for the next month. So these are 500 millibar heights broken down into 10-day periods, into week periods, I should say. First week period tailings from the 26th of September through to the 2nd of October. We finally got an area of above average heights to our east and northeast with below average heights in the Atlantic and doing something a little bit like that with the flow and uh, with the jet stream too. So it's turning more on a settled essentially in this week, uh, week coming up from the Atlantic. Go through to week two, which is the 3rd to the 9th of October, looking properly unsettled with low pressure, below average heights through the UK and much of central western Europe. Jet stream's doing something a little bit like that as well. So that looks pretty cool and pretty unsettled there as we go through the first week of October. Go through to week three, which is the uh, 10th to the 16th of October. This one looks quite unsettled too, with below average heights through the UK and Europe. Notice quite a big blocking feature up over the top of the North Pole. If you get that in winter, then uh, it gets quite interesting because it does entrench colder air into that trough uh, with winds going into that sort of direction as it is probably just cool and unsettled there through uh, that uh, second week of October and then we go through to week three the third week of October the 17th to the 23rd of October um, and heights are back in over Scandinavia again with below average heights in the Atlantic doing something a little bit like that with the flow and the jet stream. That might be a mile a week because the wind is more southerly, southeasterly, but still low pressure never far away from the country, still looking quite changeable, uh, really. I think the CFS is keen on quite an unsettled October, but whether it comes out that unsettled, of course, hard to say because it is an uncertain time of year, as always, with these storms and areas of low pressure. So coming back to the more uh, rem immediate time frame, uh, Going to have more showery conditions uh, through the remainder of this week. Quite warm to start off with, but turning a bit cooler at the end of the week and into the weekend. And then later in the weekend and early next week, all eyes on where that area of low pressure containing the remains of Hurricanes Lee and Maria is going to go. Um, and that is still very much open to question. Of course, with that being open to question, and everything beyond that also is open to doubt as well. So we'll keep you posted. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.